A knock detector, or a vibration detector, is a simple device that detects vibrations, or shocks, from knocking or tapping it. It is basically an electronic switch, which is normally open. When it detects any shock or vibrations, it closes for that moment, and returns back to its default open position. In this project, we will learn how knock sensor, or tap sensor is made. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. 2. NPN, Transistor, BC547 1 Kilo Ohm Resistor 10 Kilo Ohm Resistor 1 Mega Ohm Resistor 47 Kilo Ohm Resistor 100 Ohm Resistor 100 Microfed Electrolytic Capacitor 1 Mic 1 Red LED 1 Buzzer 9 Volt Battery PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 0 PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED, from high current and voltage. This is the symbol of mic. Mic has two terminals. When mic will receive the voice, then both of its terminals, become internally short. Terminal 1 of mic is grounded, and when mic will receive a sound, it will turn on, and its terminal 2 will also connect with the ground. Positive terminal of 100 microfarad capacitor is connected with the positive supply through 1 mega ohm resistor and negative terminal is connected with terminal 2 of the mic. Negative terminal of capacitor is connected with the positive supply also through 10 kilo ohm resistor because both the terminals are at equal voltage so capacitor will not charge. When terminal 2 connects with the ground, then capacitor start charging. Initially the capacitor is fully discharged. When it will start charging, then it will try to suck all the available current. Capacitor is also connected with the base terminal of transistor Q1. So, until the capacitor's voltage goes above 0.7 volt, the transistor Q1 will remain off. When transistor Q1 become off, its collector will get a high signal. Base of transistor Q2 is connected with the collector of transistor Q1. So transistors Q2 will turn on. And buzzer will start beeping. When capacitor voltage will reach at 0.7 volt, then Q1 will turn on. When transistor Q1 become on, its collector will get a low signal. Base of transistor Q2 is connected with the collector of Q1, so transistor Q2 will turn off. And buzzer will also turn off. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB.
Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder this mic. Mic has two wires red and black. Connect the black wire with the ground, and red wire with the capacitor. Now we will solder the 1 mega ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 100 microfarad capacitor. Now we will solder the 47 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. This is a buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals, positive and negative. Now we will solder the 100 ohm resistor. Now we will solder the transistor. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery to test our project. Buzzer will beep. When mic will receive a sound or vibration, after few seconds buzzer will turn off. On time of buzzer, depends upon the value of capacitor, and resistor R3. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video, and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts, regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number, 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.